We did it. We have reached the end of our ASP.NET Core 101 video series, but we yeah. haven't told anyone. We haven't published it to the cloud. Right. We need to let the people know. That our craft site is better than all the other competing craft sites. Absolutely. All right. So let's try to go and publish this to, uh, to Azure. So I'm just going to switch back over into, uh, actually, I'll show you our site real quick. It's lovely. I just want to so show you how nice it is. Six-star rating system. It is. That is, awesome. the, that is the differentiator for our product. I agree. Not That's what makes star. us truly special. Six-star. All right, let's do this. What we're going to do is right-click on our product. Remember, we talked about this before. You can build, you can clean, you can publish. Uh -huh. So when this pops up, there's lots of different places that you could potentially publish your application to. If you want, you can just publish it to a folder and then you know zip it up and take it over to your friendly neighborhood host. If you have your own server, maybe you use IIS, the Internet Information Server for Windows, maybe an Azure Virtual Machine. But what we're going to do is we're going to publish it to an Azure App Service. Azure App Service, here's one for Windows and here's one on Linux. And we can just say create new. And because I'm logged into Azure, it's going to load my subscription. See? Nice. So, Contoso Crafts is awesome. <laughs> we'll figure out our domain stuff later. We need to go and get VC money. Yeah. Okay. I can pick my three month trial. We can make a resource group. I'll just leave these things as they are. And then here under web hosting plan, I can decide whether or not I want a machine of a certain size. I could even try this on a free if I wanted to. That's nice that it's letting you do all of that. Yeah. With this model. I could log else. into Azure and the Azure portal mm -hmm. and do all that stuff, but I can do it all from Visual Studio, which is really cool. And then if I wanted to uh, add a database or a storage account, totally up to me. And then additionally, I can export those settings and then I could give them to you and you could publish from your machine as well. Let's go and hit Create. We'll see if this works out. So I'm hitting Create, and it's going to go and deploy. It's multiple steps, so I'm just going to be patient. It's going to create what's called a hosting plan. This is the thing that is going to hold our website. And the cool thing about using Azure App Service is I can do deployment slots. Have you seen those? No, I haven't. Dev, test, staging, all on the same plan. So you can go and deploy to staging, and then I can swap staging with production. Oh, so convenient. It is convenient, and we'll be able to do it on all of the exact same plans. But right now, we're just going to publish directly to production. All right. Because that's how we roll. Yep. Get it right the first time. Mm -hmm. This might take a few minutes, depending on uh, the status of your uh, system. In my case, I am using my trial account, and I've never made a hosting plan before. So I'm going to wait for just a few minutes mm -hmm. here. So we might compress time yeah. in the interest of not boring people. So maybe while we're doing that, what do we do now? We've, we're about to ship, and oh. Oh, hey. Look at wow, that. That was faster than I expected it. All right. So this is great. So while you were getting ready to uh, stretch out the amount of time we were talking about, in fact, they created that, and we can publish directly from here. And we can also be reminded that uh, we can pick our target frameworks. We're going to mm -hmm. use .NET Core. We can decide whether or not it's going to be going to Windows or not, uh, whether or not it's going to be entirely self-contained or not. And it's warning me if I set the wrong setting. Here, I'm going to go into a self-contained release build directly out to uh, Azure. And then you see our initial URL is ContosoCraft yep. is awesome. And then here it says, hey, there's some warnings. You want to let me know about your warnings? They're saying that we're using a thing called SignalR, and then SignalR runs Blazor. Mm -hmm. uh, if we were going to go to production, production, and like scale and take over the world, which is ultimately our plan, yes. we could also use the Azure SignalR service. Perfect. So let's go ahead and hit And publish. we can edit all the stuff at any time. We absolutely can. And we can also go log into the Azure portal and see those settings and download uh, and export a profile and then import that into Visual Studio. So you can do it from VS if it makes you happy. You can do it from the command line or from the portal. All right, so we're publishing there, and you were going to suggest that we uh, learn about some resources. Yeah, because now that you've completed all this, congratulations. Uh, hopefully, you learned a lot about ASP.NET, and now you're just wanting to learn more. So, mm -hmm. so let's do this. We can go up to the Contoso Crafts GitHub. Mm -hmm. That's at github.com slash .NET hyphen presentations. We are inside of Contoso Crafts. This is going to be a living and working uh, sample. So you can get involved. You can improve it. You can fork it and play with it. It's all open source. Be sure to check out the .NET website. Up at the top, there's two things I want you to look at. There's Learn and there's Community. Videos like this will be up at Learn. You can make websites and IoT devices and Android things and iPhone things and all kinds of stuff. There'll be videos and learning materials up there. But also, to your point, the community. My favorite. Yep. Meetups. GitHub, Twitter, the community stand-up where we meet um, every week. We've even got a Gitter and a Discord now, which is really, really yeah. cool. 
All right, let's go back to Visual Studio and see how our publish is going. And it worked. It's up. That's Intosal awesome. Crafts is awesome. Azure websites. Yeah, we did it. And you can do it too. You can right click in Visual Studio. You can hit publish. Uh, in this case, we made a new Azure App service and deployed, and it uh, it worked. And I'm pretty happy with myself right now. Yeah, that was pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. So uh, how can we learn more about this stuff? Yeah. So we can. Well, I like to talk with other people first and foremost, so we can go to the .NET community. So that can be at Stack Overflow or Discord or a blog. Anywhere. We're all over the place. Mm -hmm. And you can go up to the .NET website and click slash learn, where you can see these videos and lots of other videos. And reminder, this is not the only video in the series, and it's not the only other series. There's C Sharp, there's .NET, there's mobile, and lots, lots more. Uh, we look forward to seeing you online making more .NET code. Happy coding.